Vantage IQ integrates into the Vantage platform. As soon as the user logs in, they are presented with three new action items to address. By clicking on the Vantage IQ icon at the top, we can see the full dashboard. Within the dashboard, we are able to navigate to Insights, Answers, and Time Series. Let's take a look at Insights first. Insights are continually analyzing multiple database tables within the platform and correlating them together using advanced analytics. We can see at the top, we have our critical insights, such as compromised node. Let's take a look at this one. We can see that section A, terminal one, has been compromised. We can also see with Vantage IQ that it has identified the compromised node, but using AI has started to monitor and learn all the new behaviors and actions it has taken that could be abnormal, such as communicating with control PC, PB, SB. IQ has listed the compromised node, which the Zomi solution has already identified, but also that it has a new behavior to help the end user understand how far spread the attack has been to understand how to contain the risk. This will help with incident response. If we look at other insights here, we can see an unusual high risk alert. This is an alert that is obviously high risk, but is something that we have not noticed in the environment in the past 30 days, but is now occurring more frequently. We can see in the last five days, this has occurred over 1300 times. Instead of looking at all 1300 alerts, we have listed it and consolidated it into one single alert to help speed up the investigation time. Some other insights here that are very useful for users to help optimize the Nosomi solution and asset inventory is limited asset visibility. We can see that behind this Fortinet and this Cisco device, we are not able to capture key information from the assets. Majority of this traffic to help with asset identification is dropped at these devices. So Vantage IQ has recommended to monitor the network device behind these Fortinet and Cisco devices to help capture that key data that will help with identification such as make, model, and firmware. And finally, let's look at some tuning recommendations. We can see that there are a lot of low risk alerts coming from this specific sensor. Vantage IQ has noticed that in the last 30 days, these are low risk and there's a common pattern of these being triggered. We can see that there's a recommendation to review these alerts and perform tuning actions such as tuning this TCP flood alert. This will improve the overall functionality and be able to identify the key alerts that need to be taken action on if we're able to tune and optimize the solution by eliminating these low risk alerts in the environment. Now to answers. We can help understand our environment better by using these predefined questions using machine learning of Vantage IQ, such as how do asset attributes correlate with each other or what are the differences between high risk and low risk alerts? We can also create our own queries using Vantage IQ's machine learning engines, such as understanding the common attributes for my links. We can see there's common communication for my links is within the United States. We can see most of the communication is coming from IP address 10, 41, 43, 17, and most of the destinations are going to this IP address here. And the protocol being used most frequently within my environment is HTTPS. We can do this for different database tables and use different queries within Vantage IQ's machine learning engine. And finally, let's look at time series. Time series helps you monitor your device bandwidth by searching for anomalous behaviors. Reoccurring patterns are identified 
and forecasts of future behaviors is generated via specifically designed neural networks. We can see where the network bandwidth should be for a specific time. This is useful when network span traffic happens to go down, leaving a gap in monitoring or being able to alert on potential data exfiltration. This is the new Vantage IQ platform, allowing users to streamline their day-to-day -day operations and security along with being able to do more with less. Thank you.